Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with an evening routine because last week for you guys I uploaded a morning routine and I said, do you want an evening routine? And a lot of you were like, yes please. So I thought, do you know what? It's quite easy for me to film one of those. It's just me getting on with my evening. So I'm gonna take a night off vlogging and I'm gonna show you guys what it is like to spend an evening when you're living in student accommodation after a day at university. So let's get started. So currently it is 10 to five. Basically I've been in uni pretty much all day today i finished uni at half past four got the bus back to my accommodation it was like five minutes on the bus really i should walk it i'm lazy but yeah i'm back at my accommodation now and the first thing i need to do is tidy my room like i left in a bit of a rush this morning so i haven't had a chance to tidy up yet um so i'm gonna I'm gonna tidy my room up so while i do that i'm just gonna pop on some youtube so i'm gonna watch the new shane dawson video right now while i tidy up and as you can see my room is a little bit of a state basically it just looks so much messier when i haven't made the bed so that's my first job I really need to make the bed and then haven't decided what I'm gonna have for tea yet. I also need to do that. So my room now looks a little bit tidier. Got some shoes creeping, but generally it is tidier. Um, and now I'm actually just gonna take all of my rubbish through to the kitchen because I have like quite a lot of like packets of stuff, just empty like cereal bars. And then I actually do have some artwork to do. So obviously I'm not gonna keep repeating it. You guys know that I'm doing an art course. Um, and I bought these little paints today from a shop in Leeds, like an independent shop. I can't remember what it was called, um, but it was in my weekly vlog. And I bought these acrylic paints and I'm gonna try and do some like printing with them um, on like foam and stuff. So all very experimental but I do just need to do a little bit more for my um, like project this week so I thought yeah this is a good experiment and I'm gonna do it tonight don't generally tend to do art every single night because a lot of my course can be done like in the uni but I thought I'd do a little bit a little bit at home but right now I need to take all this rubbish through to the kitchen my flatmates have sort of tidied up the kitchen look at that look at it look to be fair this mess here this is mine I need to put this away just poured a load of water on the floor Okay, the mess in the kitchen is now all tidy. And um, back in my room. So I kind of also need to clean the bathroom up a little bit because I haven't cleaned it in like two weeks. Probably should clean it. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then my big decision for tonight is I don't know what to cook myself for my tea. So that is a huge factor of living at university. Obviously feeding yourself and like eating on a budget, like food is expensive. So I don't really know. My plan was to do a jacket potato, but I've got some chicken goujols that will go out of date after today. Well, no, they're gonna go out of date on Saturday, but I'm not here tomorrow evening for tea. So I don't really know what to do because I think I need to use them up. So I might put them in some pasta and do like tomato pasta with chicken goujons and sweet corn. I'm thinking that is what I might do. I also have pizza, don't know. We now have a nice, tidy, clean bathroom. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. I didn't vlog it because I thought it was a bit disgusting, so yeah. Now I'm gonna do some art work. Okay, so these are the prints that I've just done. They're literally just experiments with um, ink. Like, they're not really meant to be anything. They're just meant to be, like, experiments. And they kind of build on the project that I was doing last week. So, I mean, I kind of like them. I like that they're abstract. I think they look better in black. Like, I think that one is the best one. However, yeah, it's just it's just experimenting. It's just messing around with different media, basically. Seeing what I can do. Um, the way that I did it was I had a little square of foam. And I, like, etched into it using a paper clip. Like, I literally just scratched it out. Um, there are, obviously way more um, beneficial ways of printmaking. I just wanted to like see what happened if I used this. So yeah, basically that's it. It is now quarter to six, as you can see, and I am going to go and start making myself some tea soon because I'm actually going out at half past six, but I'll explain that in a second. So I have decided I'm gonna go for the pasta, I think. So I've got pasta twists, stirring tomato sauce, sweet corn, and then some chicken. Oh, and actually I've got garlic bread from last night. Oh, what a blessing. So we've got the water boiling. I've measured out a cup of pasta. I've got my sun-dried tomatoes. I've got Shane Dawson here. Um, and then I've got my little chicken nuggets. That looks so pathetic. It appears to be going well, I won't lie. My chicken's in. So my meal was great. I didn't actually vlog it because I was with my flatmate while I was eating, but he's just gone back into his room. And I've even made enough for my lunch tomorrow. Like, 
queen. Okie dokie guys, so I just finished up eating my tea and then I've come back into my room, just tidied up a little bit and the reason I've decided tonight is the night I'm going to film a evening routine is because I'm actually going to Leeds light night. Um, obviously I don't do this every single night so it's not relatable to the routine but what I've done so far I do pretty much every night. Like I come in, I tidy up, I make my food kind of thing and I do go out pretty much every single evening. Not necessarily clubbing to just like either my friend's flat or like to a pub kind of thing. That's what I've been doing so far just to make the evening less lonely um, and tonight is Leeds light night which is a festival kind of thing in Leeds city centre and they have loads of light displays loads of cool things going on I've seen photos of last year's and it looks absolutely amazing so expect a lot of very cool clips of what we're doing I'm gonna film on my main camera I'm taking my big camera with me to film like some good bits and to and to take some nice photos so you'll no doubt see the pictures on Instagram but yeah there'll be a little arty interlude of what we do at Leeds what's it called light night that is it. Let's go. I need to wrap up warm because it's currently quarter to seven and the event is like until 11 I think maybe. Let's go. This is George. George Hi. is my flatmate. <laughs> We're going to the light night and George has my vlogging camera because he wants to take some photos too so I'm trusting him with my prized possession. <laughs> don't even joke. It's not funny. Um, so I'm on my massive camera which I've never filmed on before. I've never used the camera for filming so in fact I've never really used the camera. Okay, so I'm on the biggest camera in the world. I don't think I've ever vlogged on a camera this heavy in my life. It's like doing an arm workout, so I can't talk for long. But we're at the light festival -y thing, and I'm with Eleanor, Edwina, and George. And we are um, taking pictures, apart from Eleanor <laughs> didn't put her memory card in her camera. So we got halfway out the building. She's like, oh, I don't have my memory card. So. You're taking them on your phone, I'm aren't you? Good enough. Yeah. To be fair, they do look like really cool. Don't know if you guys can really like pick up the fact that they're changing colour. Yeah, you can. Um, this is like the first part of it that we've seen. I think there's loads, but I don't really know. Like, I haven't read much about it or anything. So, this is not your casual evening in Leeds, but you know, Leeds is always changing. Like, you can't predict it. So this is a little bit weird guys, I won't lie, like, not too sure what's going on. Is it meant to be the Queen? Oh, it's like suffragettes. Wow, I just thought it was the Queen, that was so embarrassing. So we're now in our university, here's uh, Edwina, and here's Eleanor, and here is George. And we've just done some um, fortune telling fish, which apparently has told me that I am false, whatever that means, um, according to the fact that it just curled up. Oh, it's not doing it now. What the heck is this? Like, this is what me and Alana saw earlier. What the heck? You can just see how big they are, like, with the people in it to scale. Like, look at the size of that. It's actually quite scary. Like, if a person that size actually, like, was running towards you, you'd be terrified. Right, well, I've tried to focus the camera, but I just don't really think it's worked because it's really, really, like, it's just a fat camera, to be honest. And with one hand, it's really hard. There we go. That's better. I look very yellow, but now it is in focus. We've finished up looking at the light night, and we're going to head to Weatherspoons, which is definitely a common occurrence since moving to Leeds. I seem to have, um, partially moved into Weatherspoons as well as moving into student accommodation because I'm always there. But I'm not complaining and I'm so excited and I feel like you're laughing at me. because I'm always there anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go because I can't hold this camera up. I don't think you guys realise how heavy hold this up. camera is. Like, what the hell? We've come to Weatherspoons. George has got chips, but me and Eleanor are trying to hide behind the mayonnaise because we don't want to look at the chips because we're being tempted, but we're both trying to, one, be healthier, and two, save money. But look how fit they look. No, it hasn't worked at all. It's not going very well. Food has arrived, even though you guys saw I already had food tonight. Ellen has, she's gone for nachos, and now I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh, I wish I went for something savoury. But I don't know why, I just felt like something sweet, which is so not like me. So. Okay, I am now back, and it has ended up being a way later night than I actually thought it was going to be. It's midnight. How did that happen? But I feel like this is an actual, genuine example of what happens at uni, because pretty much every single night since I got here, I've been out until midnight every night. And I don't even mean, like, clubbing. I mean, like, midnight or later has been the general time because people like come around and watch a movie and then midnight just becomes a normal time it's not even late it's like that's an average time to start thinking about going to sleep so now 
starting to wind down. It is 10 past 12. I took some amazing pictures. The light festival was actually insane. Like, you guys are, you don't even know. If you live in Leeds next year, you need to come to it because it's just really cool. It's very different. It's very, like, cultural, I guess. It's just a really nice evening with a lot of atmosphere and I really enjoyed it. So hopefully you guys could pick up on that through the footage. But yeah, right now I need to get my pajamas, take my makeup off and settle down ready for bed. So let's continue the evening routine. So sometimes when I get back, I usually like make myself a cup of tea, even if I've been out late or like sometimes even if I've been on a night out, cup of tea. Um, I know that's really bad, isn't it? That's a very controversial opinion. Um, but I'm not going to make one tonight just because I've literally only just had a jug in with a spoon so i'm not feeling a cup of tea and i also just kind of want to go straight to sleep and i don't want to go in the kitchen like not that i'm being antisocial, but i just kind of would rather go to sleep and i don't know if there's people in the kitchen or not so i'm gonna take my makeup off i'm gonna use the my cellar water and i'm also gonna use oh where is my cotton wool my cotton wool And then I'm pretty much just gonna wash my face and brush my teeth. So I did that in my morning routine. You know what it looks like. I'm not gonna refilm it. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to now get into bed. Now I just need to plug my phone into charge. My charger is the best invention ever. It's literally like a four meter cable. It's great. It means I can have my phone in my bed. Also, I've had so, so many questions about these lights. Like these are called indoor hanging lights and they're from Amazon. They were like 30 quid maybe. And they are really long. Like to be honest, it's a bit annoying how long they are because they all drop down the back of the bed which obviously is a little bit of a fire hazard risking it for the nice background because it does make a nice background doesn't it look ah oh. but yeah i've had so many questions i'm gonna link them below for you guys because i keep saying i'll link stuff below and not doing it but i will link these below because i've had a lot of questions so yeah i'm pretty much gonna end the video here what i'm gonna do now is just pop on some lip balm flat my hair and then watch youtube until i fall asleep this is the kind of time of night where i'd usually call tom but he's already asleep tonight so not gonna call tom tonight because he works full time it means that we actually like don't speak that much during the week now because he's obviously at work full time i'm at uni and then in the evening i'm usually out like you guys saw my evening routine it was quite busy um so yeah just gonna do all of that stuff Actually, I am just gonna grab a quick bottle of water because I don't have a drink in my room and I need a bottle. Ugh, I still have washing up. Is this not the most relatable student problem? Ugh, I'll have to do that tomorrow now. Cannot be a bothered. Got my bottle, popping it down. Okay, so I've just braided my hair and I'm now about to go to bed. So I'm gonna end the routine video here. If you have enjoyed the evening routine, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. If you're new, which I know a couple of you might be, so please do hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. You guys will get updated when I upload. And yeah, I will be back on Saturday with another weekly vlog. I think it's gonna be quite an exciting weekly vlog because me and my flatmates have some pretty decent plans for next week. So you're gonna wanna watch that. I'll be back then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.